And we're back to learning again. This time, we're going to create a lens flare in Adobe Photoshop. To get started, create a new document with dimensions of 1080 by 1080 pixels. For better results, set the resolution to 300 pixels per inch. Use RGB color mode at 8-bit, set the color profile to working RGB, and click Create. First, add a black color fill layer and delete the default background. Set the foreground color to white, activate the brush tool, and select the soft round brush. Set opacity and flow to 100%, the brush size to around 200 pixels, and hardness to 0%. Add a new layer. If the brush tip is inactive, deactivate caps lock by pressing the caps lock key on your keyboard. Use the right square bracket key to enlarge the brush size and the left square bracket key to reduce it, and click once to brush the empty layer. Activate Free Transform. Hold Alt-Shift on Windows or Option-Shift on Mac. Drag the top handle downward to shrink it and drag the right handle outward to lengthen it. Rotate the shape 45 degrees. While the Free Transform tool is still active, adjust the width and length as desired. Once done, confirm the changes. Activate the Move tool, select All, center the shape, and deselect. Duplicate the layer and activate Free Transform. Rotate the duplicate by 90 degrees and confirm. Reactivate the Brush tool. Add a new empty layer. Ensure the foreground color is white and use the soft round brush to click three times, making this layer brighter than the previous one. Activate Free Transform again, hold Alt on Windows or Option on Mac, and drag the handle toward the center to minimize it. Shrink it further using the same method, but this time make it a third shorter and slightly wider than before. Rotate it 45 degrees. Duplicate the layer and rotate the duplicate by 90 degrees. To align them, select both layers, activate the Move tool, select All, and use the Align Horizontal and Vertical Centers icons. Deselect once aligned. Repeat this alignment method for all layers to ensure they are perfectly centered. Then, activate the Brush tool again with a white foreground color. Add a new empty layer, click once to brush it, add another layer, reduce the brush size by a third, and brush the layer. Add one more layer, reduce the brush size again by a third, and click once to brush it. Select the three newly brushed layers, center them, and merge them by right-clicking and choosing Merge Layers. Activate the Transform tool and shrink the merge layer to about half the size of the larger shapes you created earlier, adjusting the length as shown in the example. Confirm the changes, duplicate the layer, rotate the duplicate by 15 degrees, and confirm. Press alt Control shift t on Windows or Option-Command-Shift-T on Mac eight times to repeat the duplicate and rotate the layer just like before. Select all the new small shape layers, group them, and name the group accordingly. Do the same for the medium and large shapes, grouping and naming them appropriately. Next, select the small shapes group, go to Filter, Convert for Smart Filters. Go to Filter again, Blur, Radial Blur, and apply the following settings. Reduce the opacity to 15%. For the Medium Shapes group, go to Filter, Convert for Smart Filters. Go back to Filter, Blur, Radial Blur, apply the settings, and press alt Control f on Windows or Option-Command-F on Mac five times to repeat the filter. Add a new layer, activate the Brush tool, set Hardness to 20%, and use a brush size slightly larger than the middle intersection point. Click once to brush the layer, add another layer, increase the brush size using the right square bracket key, and brush again. Repeat this process once more with an even larger brush size. Select these three layers, center them, group them, name the group, and set the opacity to 70%.
Repeat the same process with a brush set to 50% opacity and flow. Using a size twice as large as the previous one. Do this twice, center them, group them, name the group, and set the opacity to 50%. Deactivate the black background and create a composite of the active layers. Deactivate all layers except the composite, invert it, and go to Edit Define Brush Preset. Give your lens flare brush a name. Finally, test your new lens flare brush in a new document with your preferred settings and a dark background. You can now create lens flares with different settings and colors by simply brushing a layer with your new brush. If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.